We praise Allah, we thank Him, we ask Him for forgiveness, for mercy and for guidance and to raise the rank of our dearest Prophet and Master and leader Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Today's sermon is about one of the foundational creedal matters that define each and every Muslim who holds the true belief in their hearts. It is the belief that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists without a place. And we started this sermon by mentioning the ayah from the Quran, which means that the ones who object and denounce and refuse and derail from the creed of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are those ones whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish them and they will be set on a non-ending journey of torture and pain. And when we look at this refusal and objection to the matters of the creed, the most important of which it is to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not and is not confined to a place. You see, all the places and the spaces are created like everything else. And to say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists in a place is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is confined and has many resemblance. You exist in a place and al-malaika exist in a place, the angels and the jinn and even the animals. So from the point of view where Allah Ta'ala said, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ We cannot resemble Allah to the creations because the ayah means nothing resembles Allah whatsoever. And if you exist in a place and someone were to say that Allah exists in a place as well, they have drawn a resemblance between Allah and the creations and would have gone against the ayah لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that and the Aimma of the Muslims told us that as well and Al-Imam Abu Mansur Al-Maturidi related to us a very important piece of information which is the consensus and the agreement of all the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah Wal Jama'ah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not bound by time and is not encompassed or contained with place or in a place. All those things that are confined and contained to place are similar to one another, have beginnings. They are contained within the six directions. They form the physicalities which define them in their state of creationism. And that's why they are known as creations. And the moment we take these properties and we apply them or assign them to God, we would be likening Allah to the creations and saying about Allah that he is like us. Therefore, those ones who worship something of the sort, they have imagined something in their minds they named it allah but they are worshippers of an image of an object of a creation and they have missed on worshiping allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and therefore they are not muslims beware my brothers from such creed and know these are the same people that advocate and are proponents for a lot of evil and corruption and mischief all around the world. Stay away from that because that is not the creed of your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah Ta'ala knows best. <laughs>